Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sideline. We're back for the NFL Divisional Round of the Playoffs. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following us all season. And be sure, if you're not already, to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We only have four games this week instead of five, you know, getting down playoffs. We're going to recap the NFL Divisional Round. But before we do that, my biggest three takeaways from this week's of NFL games. Number one takeaway... Joe Burrow is him. Joe Burrow is the coolest cat in the fucking league. I mean, this guy has stones for fucking balls. So you could tell when he was at LSU in college, he had one of the uh, best college teams of all time. They had Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. He shows up in big games. Last year, he showed up in big games. They went on the road, beat everyone to make the Super Bowl. And he's just calm, cool, collective, on the road, in Buffalo, on the road, snowing, doesn't matter. He was flawless. He's fucking cold, and if he's your leader, he's your quarterback, you can feel really good about him going forward. Joe Burrow is the future of the league. He's not the—he's the present. Joe Burrow is the league. He's him. All right, second takeaway. The Cowboys have a Dak problem. The Cowboys—I frankly had enough of the Cowboys. Uh, Everyone talks about them. They hype them up every year. Oh, America's team. Oh, Dak Prescott, Zeke. They they blow. They fucking suck. They—every year, they fucking lose. And they have a Dak problem because— Last year, it was a coach's kind of decision. Dak fucked up too, but it was Mike McCarthy's uh, stupidity. This year, the defense really showed out. They only allowed 19 points to a 49ers team that has a ton of weapons on the road, and they lost, frankly. Dak Prescott blew that game. Now, I don't think Dak sucks. He's he's decent. He's he's a decent quarterback. He'll get you to the playoffs. He's good. But I don't think he can get you to that next level because they're loaded. They have a lot of weapons. Pollard, Lamb, Schultz. They got a bunch of guys. Loaded defense. And he cost him that game. He threw two really bad interceptions. And uh, frankly, he he blew it for him. And if I don't know what to do because they gave him a max contract. You kind of just have to ride it out with him. Hopefully, you know, he gets hot. He figures it out. But uh, they, they have a problem, and it starts with Dak. Third takeaway. AFC is in very good hands. If you're, you know, a fan of the American uh, Football Conference, you could feel really good about the future of your conference going forward because the young quarterbacks in this conference are insane. You have Patrick Mahomes. Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, elite, elite. Those three guys are going to be vying for Super Bowls for the next five, ten years. You also have Justin Herbert, Trevor Lawrence, Lamar Jackson. All those guys are MVP candidates. I mean, great franchise quarterbacks. And it's going to be awesome to see, kind of after this Brady, Peyton Manning, Roethlisberger, Breeze era, uh, Rodgers, like, those guys that are the next 10 years, those guys are going to be them going forward, and they're all really exciting to watch, and they're all on good teams. Most of them are upcoming t- teams, and uh, I think you can feel really good about that as a fan of NFL football. All right. Four games this week. We had four games, divisional round, NFL playoffs, and uh, unfortunately, Sam's not with us. But out with the old, in with the fucking new, my own cousin, my own flesh and blood, Christian, how you doing? Dude, pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Man. I mean, I mean, Christian. I mean, thank God you're here. I mean, people have been. I had to get on sideline. I mean, this is the show. I mean, listen, everyone wanted you here. You know, this yes. is the this is the you know we're not settling anymore. I mean, we this is the people. This is what this everyone is the whole wanted. Fame right here. I mean, I'm I don't. Sam Reed today. I, I don't want to say we're taking the program up to another level. We cut off the fat. Yeah. You know, trim it off. All protein here, brother. Protein. That's Lean good. meat. Lean meat. Hell yeah. All right. All right, Christian. First game, this was the first game Saturday. Mm-hmm. The Kansas City Chiefs, they beat the uh, Jaguars 27-20. to 20. It was a pretty good game, though. It was back and forth. The Chiefs snuck by. The Jaguars had two bad turnovers at the end that uh, kind of cost them any chance of coming back. The biggest takeaway here, Mahomes suffered a high ankle sprain. Christian, I'll ask you, do you think this will impact the Chiefs' chances going forward, and how do you think they stack up against Cincinnati? I'd be worried if I'm Kansas City. Me too. I would be worried. I'd be worried too. I mean, you said it last week. I thought... Kansas City would blow out Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. This was a little closer than I mm. thought it should have been. Um, although this group has probably been together longer than any other team in been. the playoffs. I think that could help them. Um, yeah, I'd be worried. I don't know. Cincinnati's, they C- got some brothers. Cincinnati's, they them boys. Yeah. I mean, they, they them boys. I mean, they get some heavy hitters. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you, though. Because, like, honestly, if Mahomes was fully healthy, I think it'd be a pick em game. Mm-hmm. That yeah. ankle sprain looked bad. Oh, yeah. They they, they taped that thing up. And when you're going the adrenaline, I, yeah. if I'm Kansas City, I'm shooting Mahomes the fuck up. Yeah. Give him every drug, yeah. every pill. I don't want him feeling anything. Be numb. It's too bad, numb too. Numb is the I word. Think, I think, I hope we don't get robbed of 
a Cincinnati Kansas City matchup that I would know. be like a shootout. Because other than Mahomes, everyone's healthy, you know. I know, but yeah, I don't know if I'm picking picking that game. I'm give me Cincinnati. I agree. They them boys. Yeah. All right. Next game, Giants Eagles. Christian Philadelphia. The Giants came in the Phillies home, and Philly took them. Yep. They bent them over. Yep. And they fucked them right up the ass. Doggy style. I mean, this doing? wasn't even close. I mean, yeah. they put the head down in the pillow and yeah. said, you stay there till I'm done. And that's what happened. They won 38 to 7. It wasn't even close. Um, Jalen Hurts, people had some questions how he was going to look after the injury. Mm-hmm. He looked great. Uh, Giants kind of, eh, whatever. Philadelphia, did this show you anything? Like, do you like, wow, Philadelphia, this is a team? Or what do you stand with the Eagles? I mean, a little bit. I mean, I think for some reason people are writing off Philly. Mm. You know, they were best team in the regular season. All year, really? Yeah, all year. Mm. But I don't know. I, I was telling you before, I feel like this year, more than anything, anyone could I agree. Anyone could win it. I agree. Um, you can make a case for anyone. Giants, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't prove a lot to me. Mm. I mean. No, I agree. They, they, they were front. Daniel I mean, Jones. I know. Daniel Jones. Like, I don't know. I, he, I mean, they beat the fucking Vikings. Yeah. I agree. This doesn't prove anything to me. The only thing, my biggest takeaway is. Jalen Hurts is healthy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he, he's able to going to be able to play. And I think it their defense, Philly's got the good defense. Good defense. I mean, seven points. It is the Giants, but still. Yeah. I mean, I like to see um. You know, personally, I take satisfaction in seeing other people like miserable oh, and yeah. in pain. Of course. And Philly fans, more people uh, from Philadelphia, oh, more they than suck. Eight. So I, I, I'm actively rooting yeah. against. The yeah, they're, they're my they're my team that I don't. I like I, I like I mean I like to play Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, yeah. but uh, uh, Philadelphia, yeah. I personally root against. So yeah. I, I do hope they lose. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. I think I do think they have a shot, though. I think it'll be a good game. All right, next game. This was maybe the most surprising outcome. Uh, it was good for me. I don't know fucking what best bets had, but Matt Sampson picked Cincinnati to win. He had Cincinnati money line, yeah. Cincinnati cover, and Cincinnati wow. parlay. Hey, maybe David. I should. Maybe this should, uh, someone else should be running best bets. No. That's all I'm saying. I went I went three and zero yesterday. You know, I've undefeated record. I'm not, I don't have a losing record. Sam, um, Sam might be out of a job. I don't know. Listen, he might be on the street. Maybe he is. Maybe it's just all a cover-up. Uh, Maybe we fired Sam. Yeah. Could, all right. could be in the freezer. You yeah. Know? Well, yeah. So, Bengals dominated the whole game. Bills choked again. I want to talk about each team because they're both relevant teams. I'll ask you first about Cincinnati. Are they your favorite? Did this prove anything to you? Yes. Cincinnati's my favorite. Well, I'm going to hold my thought on that, actually, until we get to San Francisco. But this game definitely proved something to me. Buffalo, I think everyone thought this would be the game of the playoffs so far. I mean... I mean, two two powerhouses on offense. This should have been the game of the playoffs. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, arguably the two most exciting QBs It was never close. Never close. Never. Which I was surprised. I mean, Buffalo home, playing in the snow. (laughs) They're used to playing in the snow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think for me the biggest thing is the coaching for Buffalo. I agree. They they, they, they have the guys. They, the whole Hamlin thing happened, so Dude. they had the 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 power behind him. He was at the game, and to not even put up a competitive Sad. match. I mean, well, that's, dude, as our Jamaican friend Alpha would say, Joe Burrow, a bad man. Oh, bad man. He's a bad man. He is. He's a bad bad he's man. Him. He is him. him. Dude, they get so many weapons. They're my favorite, Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. I think he's got balls. Okay. He's got stone. They give him weapons out the building. I think their defense is pretty good too. Yeah, I mean. I, their defense hold, and they're holds not afraid them. of anyone. Yeah, definitely. And they get the uh, Mixon and P Ryan. I know Sam's a big fan of Samaje P Ryan. So. Yeah. Big P Ryan, yeah. But uh, dude, yeah. and then fucking they're four and zero against uh, Burrow's four and zero against Mahomes. Yeah, he owns them. All right, as for but he does as for Buffalo. I mean, what's going on? I mean, this is three years in a row they they choked. They lost last year. The last year wasn't really the offense put up thirty six points. Their defense gets shredded every year they lose. What's what's going on in uh, in Buffalo? I don't know. I mean, offensively, they get weapons Allen, out the building. Diggs, who didn't get the ball as much as he should have. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, man. They I got mean, weapons I, out the building. I think their coach, fucking Bill Burr, over there, the Irishman. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Mick, they got a Mick I think coaching. he's a little overrated. They got a. Mick, well, you're probably drunk before the yeah, game. Fucking, fucking Irish. Fucking Mick Irish. I mean, what is he doing? Like come. Skinning potatoes at the pub, you know, getting drunk yeah. before the game. He was probably at the pub before. This, that's uh, what you get. Shamrock tattoo on his ass. Yeah. No, I, I think their defense, they need an overhaul. Their defense gets shredded every time. Oh, yeah. They need Their defense it's needs to get better. Tonight. And uh, Josh Allen's amazing. But this. Uh, he, he plays hero ball. He's like Brett Favre, dude. He's so fucking fun to watch. Yeah. But like, some, just take the check down sometimes. Yeah. You know, you don't have to make 50 yard Hail Mary every time. You know, it's a turnover waiting to happen. Yeah. I agree. And it cost him. Excited to see Cincinnati, though. 
All right, last game. This was the Sunday night football game. The Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers. Niners won 19-12. It was actually a really close game. Kind of a little luggish. Not a, not a ton of scoring. Uh, defensive game, two really good defenses. The 49ers defense came through. Dak Prescott threw two interceptions like he always does. Dakota. Um, Terrible name. Do you think the Cowboys have a Dak problem? What do, what do you think about the boys? Yeah. I mean, I think people overhyped Dak from the beginning. Yeah. And I think it showed that that was foolish. Those were bad picks. Yeah. Bad pick. He threw a lot of... He had... Did he lead the league in, he in had, picks? He was tied for the league lead in interceptions, but he missed five games. So, so he did it yeah. in... Le- he, he would have blew that category yeah. out. He'd, I think he had 15 interceptions in 12 games. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's that's not good. No. Um I mean, Dallas, I think on paper... Loaded. 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 I mean, I think, again, it falls on the coach, too. I think the coach is a blubbering uh, idiot. Oh, uh, he looks like a high school gym teacher, Mike. Oh, uh, dude, he, he... I don't know. I'm going to be nice. I'm, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. make any fat jokes, yeah. but he... Uh, I'm not I throw a, your softball, yeah. Yeah, I yeah I'm not a... No, uh, you like, uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, they, they get a coaching problem, and they get a quarterback problem. A because, quarterback problem. Well, because it's tough, because he's good. Yeah. And they gave him the max deal, but he's not like he's meh. Like he's all right. It's it, it's almost like he's he's been in the league long enough, but it se- still seems like uh, he I mean, just hasn't matured. I like, mean, he's like a six. Like you'll sleep with her, yeah, but like you don't feel great about it. Yeah. Like you could definitely do worse. It's Mickey but, D's. But know? then like you do it after, and you're just like, yeah. I don't know. Am I selling myself short? Yeah, you know what I mean. But you're scared to move on because yeah. like, what if like you can't? You're right. You know what I mean. Thank yep. you. All right. Dax botched. Dax botched. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a butterface. Yeah. yeah um, that's, yeah. yeah. What about the Niners? Do you think the Niners should they be the favorite? They their defense yes. is legit. See, I, I was gonna say Cincinnati, but Niners. If I had to put money on it, I'm saying, I'm saying the Niners. Oh yeah, they got some dudes. They got some brothers. They got some dude. They got a bunch of brothers. But I think, uh, I mean, talk about weapons. Up the McCaffrey, building. Kit. I know. I don't even have to name them. Ayuk. Ayuk, and uh, I feel like Per. He hasn't. He hasn't been amazing. Man, I feel like he's been, he's done what he's had to you do. You just need him to drive the car, man. Yeah, that's it. You know, just stare he's the, the wheel. getaway driver. That's you know it. what I mean? Yeah, everyone else is doing the work. Just, you know, yeah, just get, get us home. Yeah, don't don't get in an accident. Yeah, don't fuck up. And I, you know, I think he's done well so far, so. I agree with what you said, though. I think any of these remaining teams could win the Super Bowl, yeah. I, which is exciting. Anything no, could happen. You can make a case for any team, so. Christian, it was so yeah. nice to have you on the program today. Yeah, thank you. You brightened my day. You brightened the viewer's day. Thanks. I think uh, everyone's going to be really happy you're on this episode. I'll I'll never forget this day. Thanks, guys. All right. Before we end the program here, I'll give you quick predictions for uh, the conference championship games. Chiefs-Bengals, I think it could go either way. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals, Natum boys. Uh, Mahomes has a high ankle sprain. I think Joe Burrow is the balls. Give me Cincy. Niners, Eagles, this is a true pick em. I really don't know if I'm forced to make a pick. Gun to my head. Richie April, give me the 49ers. Um, I think they're def- I like their defense. I like their weapons. I like their run game. Give me the Niners. And Super Bowl, just real quick, if we're doing it, just so it's on paper, since the 49ers, I said it since day one. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, tune in next week. Will Sam be back? Probably. He's probably going to yell and scream at me. But, hey, that's all right. Have a good week.